This is the, oh, what is it? Peanut butter. No, the, not this one. This is the chocolate s'mores one, oh, I think. Yeah. That's good. Mm. Ooh, frappuccinos are nice. I've never had one before. And then this one is the peanut butter cup. Can you see the bits? It's good, but I don't think it's that peanut buttery. No. I would no. like to taste one of those bits, but I can't get to them. I reckon I'm going to get this on camera. I've got a Big Mac, and I've got a mayo chicken. And I'm going to put the mayo chicken on the top layer of the Big Mac. And put it together, and then I'll record it. Frankenstein burger. Big Mac with a mayo chicken on top in place of the burger. There we go. Mm. Thank you. Mmm! How's that sauce? The salsa. Mmm, it's good! From the last one. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Get the spot. Biscoff French toast, so it's brioche bread cooked in what well, we dipped it in eggs and melted biscoff and then crusted in biscoff biscuits and then fried it and I have a cup of tea because cups of tea are the best. Is it good?
I think I've sugared myself out from that breakfast already. So we've come upstairs to watch some, we're gonna watch some challenge. I've had some Pringles, something salty. And then I've just got, so I have a piece of brioche bread with butter and a red velvet cake bar with, do we say cream cheese? Yeah. Filling or something. Yeah. It's about half two now, we've been for a little bit of a walk and now we're eating again and we have gnocchi with carbonara sauce and I'm going to just put a little bit of parmesan cheese on top of there because I love parmesan cheese. The thing with grating this parmesan cheese on top is that it just goes everywhere. Yeah, no. <laughs> Yeah. Can someone tell me why every time I fall in love it seems to be a We've got extra pancetta in the carbonara as well. Into my life and I knew right then and there I wouldn't get you off my mind. But then I looked you up. Hello, it is now 8 o'clock, so what I've not recorded is a slushie that I had, me and John went to play pool and I had a cherry slushie because I always grave slushies in the summer, um, snacked on, I shared a pack of crisps with my niece, um, when I say shared, she had a couple. John had a few. It was about a half pack. Um, I've had a few Oreos, a couple of pieces of chocolate, and a few more Pringles. You saw the Thai green curry that I had with egg fried rice. I had a couple of prawn crackers with that as well. So depending on how I feel, I don't know how much I'll eat. So I've just warmed up some protein pancakes that I made just pre-show. Um, with the idea that I was going to eat them on the way back because I was just wanting pancakes, put some jam and peanut butter, fold them up like a taco and eat them. So just warm some of those up. Um, oh, there's some white chocolate on this one. It looks gross though. <laughs> um, so I've got my peanut butter and jam. So I might snack on them just while watching some YouTube. Dark chocolate Toblerone. It's been open for a while. It's not out of date yet. Toblerone seems to last for ages. So. Dark chocolate doesn't sugar me out. Dark chocolate is, I don't know, it must be the bitterness of the dark chocolate, but it doesn't ever taste too sweet to me. It always tastes great. Mmm. I will definitely, before I go to bed, eat a cream egg, or an Oreo egg, or a Reese's butter, Reese's butter, or a Reese's peanut butter cream egg. 
Um, not sure which, but I will record it. Because I'm just watching some YouTube, so it might be another hour till I fancy these. Because I've been eating all day. Mm. So, I'll show you if I do eat. Well, I will eat them. Because I warmed them up. They could be cold now. You know what, let's try one of these. Maybe it was the white chocolate that made that a funny texture. Strange. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I might add jam. <laughs> jam fixes everything. this on my pancake and started eating it but apparently I didn't press record you so you don't think I'm lying I don't know what you can see Yeah, I know I look good. Yeah, I look fly.